Hello, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Science and Public Policy at Walden University. In this segment, what I'll be going over um, is um, about epilepsy because today actually happens to be International Epilepsy Day. And that's uh, every year um, on February the 13th, this takes place. Uh, this year I wanted to actually make a video because of my uh, personal experiences as well and um, with others that have um, epilepsy. Uh, so fact number one, and I'm going to dispel some myths um, throughout my talk. Um, epilepsy is a disorder of the brain. And this is a fact. Epilepsy is a disorder of the brain that causes seizures. Many people think that's synonymous, synonymous between epilepsy and seizures, and that's not correct. Epilepsy can affect people in very different ways. So a blank stare can be um, an, a, a seizure, whereas for other people it's the whole tonic-clonic, it's otherwise known as grand mal seizure. Uh, the way a seizure looks depends on the type of seizure. So, uh, like I said, uh, a blank stare um, might be a smaller sort of um, uh, epileptic or se seizure. Um, it's a type of seizure. Um, and then epilepsy can be caused by different conditions that affect a person's brain. So it might be from traumatic brain injury or or something that is uh, has led to maybe even an infection has uh, led to encephalitis and then different conditions of the brain. So I've been looking at um, EEGs for a while um, due to the neurologist I work with and uh, just looking at the three to five um, the, the spikes that are taking place here um, is noteworthy. Um, what not to do, don't stick a fork uh, into anybody's mouth uh, while having a seizure. And uh, sometimes uh, it's recommended to lay the person to the side. So what does the CDC say? Uh, when in doubt, just go back to um, what CDC always says. And um, seizures do not usually require emergency medical attention. This is something very important. I'm only call 911 if one or more of these are true. The person has never had a seizure, that's always a warning sign. The person has difficulty breathing or waking after the seizure. Um, the seizure lasts more than five minutes. The seizure has, the person has another seizure soon after the first one. The person is hurt during the seizure, the seizure happens in water. And the last reason you would call 911 is if the person has a health condition like diabetes, heart disease, or is pregnant. And usually pregnancy is uh, uh, associated with eclampsia. So what to do um, when you're uh, experiencing uh, epilepsy or experiencing actually a seizure um, that might be due to the person's epilepsy. Uh, there's general steps to take um, with someone uh, stay with the person until the seizure ends and he or she is fully awake after it ends help the person sit in a safe place and once they're alert and able to communicate tell them what happened in very simple terms and this is because um, there's a lot of confusion um, when you come out of a tonic clonic seizure especially um, there's a lot of confusion uh, so when when this is done, uh, com comfort the person and speak calmly. Check to see if there's a bracelet, a medical bracelet, um, a saying that this person has epilepsy. Uh, keep yourself and other people calm, and then offer to call a taxi or another per uh, person to make sure the person gets home safely. What are some of the don'ts? Pay attention to this. There's about four don'ts um, that you should never do. Uh, do not hold the person down or try to stop his or her movements. It's in instinctual to do that, but don't. Do not put anything in the person's mouth. I was talking about this earlier. Some people have the the, the um, natural sort of reaction to do so. Um, in fact, that can actually injure the teeth or the jaw. A 
person having a seizure cannot swallow his or her tongue. So they, there might be cuts on the tongue, um, but if there's a worry that they'll cut the tongue off and somehow swallow it, that's not um, actually practical and true. Um, do not try to give mouth-to-mouth -mouth, um, breaths like CPR. Um, people usually start breathing again on their own after a seizure. Um, again, the five minutes is the golden rule. If it's above five minutes, then uh, you want to uh, start to get concerned, and that would be something you would call 911 for. Uh, do not offer the person water or food until he or she is fully alert, because any of this uh, is a choking hazard at the time um, that the person is coming out of the seizure. So I just wanted to end with um, the personal battle that I've had um, with um, with epilepsy and um, had uh, multiple seizures along the years. Um, this is something that is serious to take um, and there's a lot of things it actually changes the way you live your life um, and it's, it's sometimes more controlled sometimes less controlled uh, and it just depends on how you experience it um, that you call 911 versus um, kind of uh, stay back. Uh, I hope this is uh, this has provided some insight into anyone that um, might be experiencing uh, epilepsy and the first aid that the caretakers need to understand about. Thank you for listening.